Welcome back to Trailer Trash Flips. I literally just spent five minutes trying to figure out why all of a sudden I had this beam of light coming down that kind of looks like, you know, the heavens are opening up and just light shining down. I couldn't figure it out. I went up here and I started adjusting my three panel light, you know, changing stuff around. Couldn't figure it out. As it turns out, the lens on the camera was smudged. But I feel kind of stupid for not just checking that to begin with. But there was like a beam of light right here through my face. So anyway, that is resolved. It's early Monday afternoon. I have 12 orders going out today, which I got through this last weekend for a total of $179.55. So my sales are still on the right path. In the last video I put up, the beginning of the week sales were still kind of slow, but they progressively got better throughout the week. And as of right now, that momentum is still continuing, and I am very happy about that. I'm still running a 10% promoter rate on almost all of my items, and I'm still trying to list better items. So I'm going to go pull my 12 orders and show you what sold. I had just turned my camera off and was walking to my bins to pull orders, and I got another order. And it is an 012. I think that's it. This is it. And it is a flange for garbage disposal. And this sold for $7.95 plus shipping. In the H6 bin, I sold a motorcycle or hiking fanny pack. And this sold for $19.95 plus shipping. In the M1 bin, I sold a vacuum filter for a Dirt Devil vacuum, and this sold for $3.95 plus shipping. In the F7 bin, I sold a sun visor. This is for a Toyota Venza, and it sold for $9.95 plus shipping. I sold two items out of the E3 bin. Let's see, one is a boat transducer mount, and this sold for $20 plus shipping and the other item is a DVD called drawing on the right side of the brain and this sold for $14 plus shipping on the LS2 shelf I sold a complete sprouting jar kit and this sold for $11.95 plus shipping in the M2 bin I sold two of the plumbing books And these sold for $30.95 plus shipping each. In the F4 bin, I sold one bottle of Biotin capsules. And these sold for $6.95 plus shipping. In the O2 bin, I sold a Bible. It's a New English Translation Bible, and it sold for $12.95 plus shipping. In H17, I sold... Loeb Classical Library. What is this? Cicero. I don't know. It's a book that I sold for $12 plus shipping. Back in my eBay room, and I sold a 4th of July placemat set for $5.95 plus shipping. Okay, here's everything going out today, all 13 items. So the sprouting jar kit came from the bin store. And it was either a one, maybe a two dollar purchase. I don't remember on that. The placemat set, these were probably 50 cents or a dollar. This is the um, garbage disposal flange. Again, 50 cents or a dollar. Same for the vac filter. And the biotin capsules, they were probably either 50 cents or maybe five dollar fill a bag. The bin store doesn't really do the $5 filler bags anymore simply because they don't have to. So I do kind of miss those days. The two plumbing code books are going to different buyers. And these came from the bin store probably for $1. It seems that a lot of people didn't really know the value of these. And these were more of them that had been sitting in my death pile. Like I said, I've been pulling stuff out of there that I knew would be a little bit better items to list. This book... I am about 99% positive I paid 50 cents for this at the bin store. As a matter of fact, everything that I've showed you so far has been bin store items. The drawing on the right side of the brain DVD is brand new, sealed. 
came from the bin store i think for 50 cents the new english translation bible came from the bin store it was either 50 cents or a dollar and i know a lot of people have opinions about bibles i don't personally see any issue with selling bibles simply because whoever manufactured the bible sells it stores sell it stores like walmart target etc christian bookstores sell the bible even lots of churches sell the bible so while i respect everyone's opinion on whether they believe it's okay or not okay to sell the bible i simply don't see any problem with it the transducer mount came from the bin store for two dollars the sun visor came from the bin store i think it was a dollar it wasn't all that long ago that i bought it and i did have it listed for a little bit higher it's one of the items that i reduced my price on so even it's selling for ten dollars plus shipping i'm really perfectly good with that and the fanny pack came from the bin store it would have been either one or two dollars i've been having it a while and i don't remember if i i don't remember if i lowered the price on this or not but i am glad to finally see it go with that last sale that i just got before i went and pulled these items it brings my total up to 187.50 not a whole lot difference but all in all still pretty good sales and i do want to say that you know i'm out of 187.50 i'm basically giving ebay another almost 19 dollars on top of their existing fees and i did talk about this in the previous video uh, i'm not happy about that the real issue is not being able to attribute that extra 10 percent that i'm giving them to these sales i'm sure that i would have gotten some sales otherwise but how many sales that's the question that i just don't know and I also mentioned that I'm running the 10% promoted rate as an experiment. And I guess we'll see what happens whenever I take that away. I'm still going to keep some promoted rate. I don't know what yet. But it will be interesting to see that if I lower that back down to 3 4 5% or whatever, if my sales just start to tank again. It's Tuesday, about midday. Typically, I probably wouldn't do another part of this video until Wednesday. But I did have one buyer who requested that. I send the item that they bought out right away. I got that sale late last night, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the orders that I have. I do have five orders going out today. For a total of $51.66, none of them are free shipping or anything like that because I have gotten rid of, I think, almost all of my free shipping items. Before I pull my orders, I did pull up my numbers on eBay and have a look at just how things are going since I've been promoting at 10%. I've said before that I don't put a whole lot of stock in impressions and page views because they don't always equal sales. But I did think it was interesting that my promoted listings impressions have really gone up so much since I started promoting at 10%. And I'm seeing a good increase in both organic and promoted impressions and page views. Right now, my sales are back up to normal levels. What's not normal is me having to promote at 10% to get there. But as I said before, I'm okay with that, at least for the time being, because I am getting sales and, and decent sales for me. I'm hoping that I have enough tape to pack up the orders that are going out today. I mentioned a few videos back that I was just about out of tape and I have not went and gotten any yet. I'm down to this little bit right here and that is all the tape that I have. My tape dispenser is out and my other tape gun is completely out. So I'm gonna go out today and pick up some tape and bubble wrap too. I thought that I had at least one roll of bubble wrap left. I don't have any. And I don't know how that got away from me because I typically buy a four roll pack from American Bubble Boy. I'm not on the auto delivery deal or anything like that, but I went through some bubble wrap apparently since my last order. And yesterday I was looking for some and I couldn't find it. So I'm going to go out in a little while and not only pick up tape, but I really need some bubble wrap. And I'm also going to go out and pick up some GoPro batteries. When I bought the GoPro that I'm using right now, it came with three of these batteries. And it was some kind of little bonus package deal. So I thought everything was good. I actually own an older model GoPro. I own a GoPro 2018. And the only reason that I wasn't using that one is because it doesn't have a front facing screen. So anyway, I bought this GoPro with three batteries and I am now at the point where only one of those three batteries are working. 
One of the batteries, which I don't even know where it's at now, every time I put it in, it gets a cold battery warning and it simply won't work. This battery here won't charge, will not take a charge. And it doesn't matter which slot of the charger I put it in, simply won't charge. So out of three batteries, I'm down to one. And that's the one that's in the camera right now. And I've only got about maybe 25% of that battery life left. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull my orders, show you what's sold, and then I'm gonna head out, get some bubble wrap tape and new GoPro batteries. In the H6 bin, I sold a book. It is, I don't know, some kind of Hindi edition book. And this sold for $18.86 plus shipping. In the E4 bin, I sold a Masquerade mask. And this sold for $5.95 plus shipping. In the H1 bin, I sold a three pack of this canola jalapeno sauce. And this sold for $8.95 plus shipping. In the F12 bin, I sold a three pack of clip on sunglasses. And these sold for $4.95 plus shipping. In the O2 bin, I sold a book called Black Rednecks and White Liberals. And this sold for $12.95 plus shipping. All four of these items, both of the books, the masquerade mask, and the three pack of clip on sunglasses all came from the bin store. And I'm quite sure all these were really low dollar purchases, like 50 cents or $1. The three pack of the Panola Cajun Jalapeno Sauce, these came from Walmart. I bought these either for 30 something or maybe 50 cents each. And I pretty much bought them out whenever I saw them for that price. So at most I have about $1.50 into these three. Now all the items here are items that I have lowered my price on. I've sold these before for a little bit more money. Um, I have a couple of these books, and once I lowered the price, of course, this one sold. The other one I haven't sold yet. I may have not lowered the price much on this one. I don't really remember. It kind of had an odd number, like 1886. So I think I did probably lower it a little bit at one point. And these, you know, for $4.95, I have like 50 cents into these. So I'm not making much money, but at least, you know, there's a few dollars profit in here. And the mask, you know, it would have been 50 cents or a dollar. I got a nice big 18 inch Costco pizza, half pepperoni and half cheese. I picked up three rolls of bubble wrap from Office Depot and I paid a total of 46, 43, and that's with tax. So with three rolls, it's a total of 600 square feet for about $46. The bubble wrap that I buy from American Bubble Boy is $48. And of course, I think they still do free shipping, or at least they did the last time that I bought it. And it was $48. So basically about another $1.50 and I could have gotten another extra 100 feet. So the Office Depot price isn't crazy high, but it is still a little higher than American Bubble Boy. But the bottom line is I really needed bubble wrap right away. So to me, it was worth a little extra to go ahead and pick some up locally for now. For most of the time that I've been reselling, I've used the Scotch packing tape. I did buy some from Amazon one time and I was happy with it. And it was definitely a better deal than this. But I do like being able to just swing by and pick this up locally. And I don't have any complaints about the tape. I do like to catch it when it's on sale for about $20. Um, I wasn't quite so lucky this time though. I know a lot of people are using the three inch tape, which I've never used. So as it is right now, I don't know, I guess really what I'm missing. And then you saw me pick up the batteries. I could have gotten two of the Enduro batteries for $40. And of course this was 60 because it came with another charger, but I figured 
for another 20 bucks, it wouldn't hurt to have an extra charger around. I'm really hoping these are a lot better than the batteries with the blue tops. But from everything that I've seen and heard, I think these will be. So the battery that's in the camera right now, which is my only functioning battery, is running pretty low. So I'm going to... That's the second time in very recent history that I was doing a video and I got a sale. So maybe I need to do more videos. So anyway, I'm going to get these charged up and hopefully they will be better than the blue top ones that I've been using. I mentioned a couple of videos back that I bought a pan at an estate sale and it is this the mayor de meyer i'm not really sure it's a really nice heavyweight pan and i finally ended up getting it out of kim's vehicle so i figured i would clean it up and get it listed but it's really a nice heavyweight stainless steel pan the inside looks pretty good it just needs to be cleaned i think that's mostly just water spots there and the back of it yeah it needs a little scrubbing to get some of that stuff off of there I was looking up to see which model this was specifically, and it's a Demir or Demire. This one measures 11 inches. I was looking up a comp right here, and this one says it's an 11 and a half, or at least this one is. So I'm not sure if they have both 11 and 11 and a half, but this one does measure 11 inches, and it is also a number five. It's 1810 stainless. I think it said it was made in Belgium. Some of the writing on the bottom was kind of hard to see. But this old comp is just over $70, and that's consistent with what I had seen the other day. So I'm going to get this one cleaned up so I can go ahead and get it listed. I just got done cleaning up the pan, so you can see that it looks considerably better. And to clean it, I soaked it in extremely hot water with some dishwashing liquid for just about five minutes. And then I used one of these stainless steel scrubbers. I get these at Dollar Tree, and this is actually two of them that's put together. So I just went over it with this. Most of the stuff came right off. And then I took some of the pink stuff, which I don't know exactly what this is, but I think it's kind of like a polishing compound. And I just buffed this on with a microfiber towel. So the pan looks pretty good and it's ready for me to list. While I was cleaning the pan, I got a message from the buyer of the Pentax camera that I sold in the last video. And here's what the message says. Hey, I got the product, but there were a lot of issues, including light seal damaged, shutter speed issues, and aperture lock having issues. Can you issue a small Porsche refund to assist me with the repairs as it's going to be costly? Please and thank you. In that video, I did say I don't know if selling as parts only or not working would protect me from an INAT because I don't know. I've never had to deal with that. And I don't think it will protect me from negative feedback. So I haven't did anything yet and I don't know what I'm going to do. So I guess I'm kind of asking for advice. With tax, I paid $17 and some change for the camera. So I could issue a partial refund and it's not that big of a deal. I mean, I don't know, $20, if that will keep him happy. But at the same time, should I? If I would offer a $20 partial refund and he accepts that, and that protects me from potentially negative feedback, is that worth it? So I'm really just wondering what all of you would do because I'm kind of undecided on how I'm going to handle this right now. You can see in the earlier message that he sent me here that I talked about the other day, he was trying to pay half of what I had it listed for. So I do think that this whole thing smells just a little bit fishy. But let me know in the comments how you would handle this situation. And that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. As always, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.